people say they don't want to be like preachers. Everybody wants to be like the basketball player. The football player, but it was a time in my life, I wanted to be like the man of God. I wanted to be like a preacher. I remember this for all these months. And I remember I learned the first song to it. Yeah, Jesus loves you. You're going to be singing all the time. Now, the Bible tells me so. And I remember all of that. See, I go back and, 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 and so what I'm trying to say here, if you really just hold on to God and try to just go back and remember what God and Father, see, sometimes to go forward, you got to look back in the past. But Paul's out to give them things. And I'm pretty sure it. See, he's out to look right behind me. I'm pressing for the hot power of Jesus. He's pressing. See, sometimes when nobody, sometimes in the time, I don't even want to get out of bed. Sometimes on Sunday morning, I feel like the lady, when she told the preacher, she said, uh, she, she said, are you going to church this morning? He said, no, I ain't going to church this morning. And he said, I ain't going back to church. He said, but them people, they don't listen to me, the people, they pity me, and uh, they behave on me and everything. She said, but well, we need you. He said, I'm a church on me. She said, but you're a pastor. So she was talking to the pastor, so sometimes we get a pastor. Y'all burn my mind. You know, tell the truth about Sometimes we get deal with the same stuff. So when you come into accountability, when you know who you are in God, then what you will do, you will, you will start growing in God. You will start being conformed in the image. Let me just bring this up here. Let me just So we cannot lose our faith. You can, if you don't receive it, if you don't receive it, if you don't believe it. So in other words, you, if you don't receive it, you can't, you, you, you can't get it. In other words, if you don't believe it, you can't receive it. So God is getting ready to bless me. That's why the devil is out of me. How many is the devil out there? If you're a real true Christian, the devil won't be out of you. So the good time is going to be better than the bad time. So God, what God is doing tonight, he's working out the bad things. Sometimes you have to go to the bad things and see how good God is. Second Corinthians 4, they said, we are troubled on every side, yet not the prayer, but not the despair. Persecuted, but not the same. Cast down, but not the scroll. And this is the word trouble. It means to disturb mentally. Look at the word distress. It's caused to wear our trouble, upset the before or overcome by the person of pain. Lift the word perplexed, it means to feel with uncertainty to make unable. The word persecuted being harassed. How many know the enemy harassing us? That's why the devil, see some people they can't run in their own room. So we have to, so we have to stop looking at what we see even on TV. The news. TV, stop listening to what we hear. <coughs> I'm a little weather, but then y'all just work on You cannot go by how you feel. Because there been many times in my life that uh, I uh, didn't feel too good. It was time that I put a cup over my head and stayed in bed, I would. But how many know when I was walk by faith and not by sight? The Bible says it's just to live by faith. Proverbs 15 and 4 says the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life. But a deceitful tongue curses the spirit. So what you got to do, if you want something really good to happen to you tonight, you got to prophesy to yourself and tell yourself, I'm coming out. I've been broke long enough. I've been down long enough. I've been hurt long enough. But I'm going to come out. I'm going to give God to pray. That's why the son said, Son, for the Lord, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise should continue to be in my mind. Yeah. And so I'm going to tell you tonight, hey, you've got to praise God in the good time yeah. and the bad time. Yeah. And you're going to have to praise God. You're going to have to be like Brother Joel did. You know, Joel, they didn't have time to say, you know, the story of Joel, how the devil, one day got to God. And, and see, the devil, anybody that has the borrowed power from God is not being looked for. Anybody that has the borrowed power, instead of being from God, is not in control. So it lets you know the devil don't have, he's not, he can't control you. But if you get on the territory, that's why the Bible says, give no place to the devil. Amen. And see, if you give the devil place to the devil, what are you going to do? He's going to take you. Give me what? The end of you gonna take like a, 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 a big hump or a heel. Because that's what the devil do. His job is to break you down. Somebody to break you down. Break down. But the devil is alive. Feel the Holy Spirit of God. See, Jesus died that you and I might have a right to the tree of life. See, 
in the peak of his life, his name is Ethan Peak. Peak of you. Peak of you. You know how that's coming out of all the people. And the chicken here of his life is eating these wings and chicken and turkey chicken. I see something out of the eye, but something did. And so the cow of his life is eating these big, big kids. Uh, you know, out of the feet and the wood of his life, you got shelter there, you got a covering over your head. So Jesus did not in rain. Glory to God. So there's going to be some guest cities in your life. I don't control to you, but there's going to be some guest cities. What do you mean for a preacher about guest cities? Guest cities is just a place of sorrow. Guest cities is not a place of, it's a place of prosperity. See, Jesus, when he took his disciples to guest cities, he told us, I want to just walk and pray with me just for one hour. And so the disciples, what they need, they kept going to sleep. But I want to tell you, when your life is not on the line, you can sleep and be comfortable in the time of trouble. But the devil is alive. And so, if you remember one time when Jesus was on the boat, Jesus went to sleep and they woke him up. And so Jesus said, can y'all just walk with me one hour? And so, I want to go back and say, and so when Judas betrayed him, see, sometimes your enemy is going to give the Holy Spirit here. Sometimes your enemy is going to push you and push you. Because it's not going to be something, it's not going to be folks in the church that validate you. Yeah. It's going to be people, because a lot of people can't validate it themselves. But so, what you're going to have to do, you know, because your enemy sometimes is on flesh. But see, when David had to run between two seeds, David run between the mess and the rain seed and the dead seed. The mess and the rain seed had trouble, trouble water, but the dead seed had still water. That's why he wrote a song that he needed to be the sign of still water. He gave him all the people to pass the sign of God and put on evil. In other words, he don't prepare the table in the prison of our enemy. The same people that try to take me out here in West Carolina and do a lot of their fears. The same people that try to say I never be now, the different people I have to bless.